So we hit the Linear Connect Hong Kong, and um, uh, there was just a, a keynote right now about the Open AI. So right. what is that? All right. Okay. So um, Open AI Lab is an organization which is founded by Arm and uh, Arm Accelerator and a couple of others. So Arm's a licensee vendor as well. And uh, here's Ming Fei. Yeah. He's a VP Engineering of the Open AI Lab, and they create this open source uh, AI software stack. Utilizing the multiple 96 board open open hardware platform, created a real end-to-end -end open AI development platform. Open source AI. Open source AI. Yes. Is it the same idea that Elon Musk has, where you don't want to really. have closed AI, you want to have open AI, or something else? Well, the open business part that's a commonality, but it's not on the same. It's not the same goal, and that's uh, so why it's not the same focus. Open AI from Elon Musk was more about algorithm itself. A, a way to evaluate the algorithm and in an open way. And the Open AI Lab is actually about creating an open source stack, uh, stack which allow people to have a you know, very easy platform to work on the applications level and utilizing the expertise and, and skill sets built up by the Open AI Lab based on the open hardware platform such as 96 boards to accelerate their development. So why is 96 Boards a great platform to do this open AI? I'll let him introduce that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. is it about high performance? Is it about heterogeneous, multi-core multi processing, optimizing everything for high? Is it going to be big ARM chipset, not small one, or both? Um, in fact, uh, uh, we focus on the edge computing. So that means the device is, uh, uh, is, uh, is uh, the embodied device. Uh, the SOC will be small because we, uh, it will have uh, a deep learning accelerator, uh, accelerator inside. Um, uh, we, uh, our, our work is focused on make the, the, uh, make a software uh, uh, open, uh, open platform to end to end. And means one end is, means uh, SOC or non six board. Uh, another end is application user. You don't need to care about uh, in the middle a lot of things. Uh, we cover that. Yeah, uh, we we give your best performance to user. Um, uh, non six board uh, is is very great open platform. Uh, a lot a lot, lot of kinds of uh, application boards there. You don't uh, you um, uh, you you can use that to plus this open ad uh, this software to generate a. Uh, a product, your application product, product uh, very soon, very so, quick. So all the software people need to do uh, the machine learning part of the SOC is uh, open in your what you're doing. Is that part uh, like the ML, uh, the n neural network, all this this kind of processor? You are making the open platform for this. Yeah, we we trying to make uh, 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 machine learning or uh, deep learning algorithm running on the. Uh, the platform, like uh, non six uh, boards, uh, these these boards have a lot of ca uh, kind. Um, it, it also has uh, the SOC is uh, uh, different. Uh, so uh, our platform trying to trying to cover that to make the user don't need to know what SOC they are using. Uh, what, for example, maybe they, they they want to upgrade to one part to another part. They don't need to know change their uh, low-level software. They just link uh, to different uh, driver. That's enough. So if you use a high silicon uh, a neural network, or if you use uh, maybe a future ARM ML IP or another IP, it will be compatible software. Yeah, uh, we uh, we uh, now uh, we support ARM CPU and GPU uh, and third-party. Uh, uh, deep learning accelerator. Uh, in the future, uh, ARM's their own uh, machine learning accelerator uh, come. We also cover that. What, what is? Why do the, for example, High Silicon? They say it's 50% more power efficient to run on the on their neural network IP, uh, IP than running on the CPU. I, I mean, is it optimized? For, how does it work? This machine learning. I don't want to ask too much, but the I should probably answer that question. Yeah. Right. So, so obviously, it's quite difficult to comment on the performance comparison today on different uh, hardware platform with different SOC capability. Uh, they, each one, each one of them, which actually, you know, 
carry on such neuron acceleration uh, in different way. High intensity obviously is done while well it could be you could be accelerated through the standard neural instruction of codex A core as well as the you know GPU core. But, uh, the high uh, 70 was focused on the neuron processing unit, which uh, is a dedicated IP for neurons uh, for neuron uh, uh, computing. So. Uh, we can't comment on the performance comparison. Uh, what I think what Minfei was trying to say is, 964 being a platform which is SOC independent, the the point is, the application developers the, does not have to care about uh, low level uh, hardware and SOC level complexity. They only need to know, but by using what AI o, uh, OpenAI Lab has done, uh, they will be able to get maximized performance no matter what level of SOC or hardware platform they choose to develop an application from. This is a great benefit and the OpenAI Lab has addressed the gap in the market which actually supporting AI application, uh, AI application developers. And you know, away from the details in terms of what framework you're going to use, what middleware you're going to use, how to optimize performance, different ARM cores. And as, as Minfei said in the keynote, it not only addressing the Cortex A, that is also has a plan to address the Cortex M core as well. So I think this, we're very excited about that and the fact of the matter is quite a, it's an open source project. Everybody can go on the GitHub OAID to find out what uh, OAID has been up to. So we are, we are very excited about supporting such project. We are very excited to be part of the project. And uh, today or yesterday you launched uh, 96boards.ai. So is all the boards optimized for this platform? Well, as you see from the I Minfei's mean, keynotes in the today, OAID is already running on Rock 960, Hiking 960, and Dragon Ball 820C. Uh, it shows how easy it is actually to port OpenAI Labs work to different platforms, and each of them featuring different, enable different SOCs. So I say that, uh, you know, as I said, we're very excited to be able to provide such platform to such open source project. And open uh, 96.0 AI is an initiative which to enable all those SOCs featuring different acceleration uh, mechanisms such as FPGA, DSP, CPU, GPU, dedicated uh, you know NPU. So we hope to enable those for the uh, project like this, be able to utilize the latest SOC technology. And so ARM is part of it, but uh, uh, this is heterogeneous. But I'm wondering, is there any chance it might be multi-architecture also? Or for now, it's just only ARM is participating. What if other want to join? They can join. Well, we are you know we are focused on ARM technology today, and uh, we welcome other. Uh, if there's any participation requests, uh, you know we certainly would like to talk about it. But today we focus on both from 96 board point of view, and uh, it's an open specification. And from OAID, it certainly it's focused on enable ARM SOC technology. And it's it's quite new, right? It's recent, but you already achieve a lot in this short time. Yeah, we uh, we just have one year. Uh, we made a lot of uh, progress. We have uh, optimized the uh, framework. We have uh, our own framework. We just use half years to make that uh, half a year. Yeah, available in GitHub. So, so very fast work. Uh, yeah, that's big on our uh, much experience before. And what is next? How many um, things will happen in the future? Yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's open. You have to say it. You have to say it's open. Yeah, yeah. That we we will have our framework uh, strong and strong. Support more and more and uh, SOC and more and more non six boards. Um, we have more optimized framework. Uh, we have uh, more application API there. So everything uh, make you are use, uh, using our platform much easier and easier. So anybody who works with the machine learning software or they should all know about this? They should all work on your what you're doing? We, we certainly like to welcome um, the people who are working on the machine learning, you know, being the machine learning practitioner or being the algorithm designer, being the AI application developers. We welcome you to take a look at uh, OAID on GitHub. We welcome you to, to, to try out what uh, OpenAI Lab has done and uh, see if you can take advantage of the work this guy has put into. And it stands for Open AI Distro. What is the last word? Open uh, AI Distro. Yeah. Distro. Yeah, these like distro. a Linux distro. Yes. All exactly. right. Cool. So, and uh, all over the world, people are working on this, right? Not only in uh, you based where? Uh, based in Beijing. Beijing, but it's also 
Shenzhen. Yeah, and Shanghai. Headquarters in Shanghai. How about in the U.S. and Europe? UK. Uh, UK. <laughs> yeah. UK. Uh, if uh, out of China, maybe UK is the first uh, division in the future. Yeah. Uh.